Hello everyone, welcome to another short review. Another Lego Movie 2 set joins this lineup here with Benny Space Squad, a phenomenal set. It is 70841. It has 68 pieces, retails for $10, and it is a 2019 release, of course. It came out with the first wave of sets, which well, there was a ton of them in the first wave. Um, this is probably the set everyone has, like, it's just a wonderful set, like, if you ever see this in the wild, get it, it's worth it, it's so worth it, uh, even if you're not, like, a classic space fan, this is just so good, they, they should at least make it one or two more of these, with, like, different colored astronauts, and that would be nice, um, but before we take a look at the Builds, which are, yeah, they're small, because this is a small set, but we'll take a look at the minifigs, which are the best part of this, as I adjust the lighting awkwardly. Uh, let me put them to the forefront. We get four classic space astronauts. Um, three are the same. Um, Benny is the only one that's really different, but that's fine. Benny returns from the first movie. Um, and he's awesome. He's also joined by Lenny, Jenny, and Kenny. <laughs> I tried to memorize their names. So, um, everyone except, um, well, well, hold on, let me get this straight. Um, everyone except for Benny has the, this, the, the, um, the traditional, it's like, smiley face, like the, the, the basic smiley head. Um, Benny's the only one that gets any kind of difference um, he gets the scratched up torso, which isn't actually scratched up, it's just printed to make it look like it is. He's got a walkie-talkie, which is great. He's all blue, of course, with the yellow head. Um, he's the only one to have two, uh, faces. The other ones do not. Uh, there's no printing on the back of him, that's fine. He's pretty much the same from the first movie, except he does have different faces here. And his, um, the strap on his helmet is cracked. It's not actually cracked. It's just made to look like it is. Uh, cause, you know, back in the day, those pieces cracked easily. But taking the helmet off reveals his full, uh, smile, which is adorable. Big smile there. And he does have the alternate face, which is, uh, worried. So that's, um, interesting. <laughs> you can use that if you want to. And that's Benny. He's a pretty simple minifig. He always was, especially in the first movie, but it's great to see him return. Uh, we do have the other three astronauts, which are pretty much the same design except different colors. So we have Lenny, who is in pink. Um, he's brand new, or it could be a she, who knows. Um, this hot pink color is brand new, or it still is. It's exclusive to this set. It's a new color for the classic, you know, astronauts. Again, there's no alternate face, there is no back printing, so I'm not going to take any of that off. But just take my word for it, there's nothing to see. Uh, he comes with a wrench, so that's nice. No leg printing for any of them, but that's fine. Let's see. Um, Jenny's pretty cool. I think it's a girl? I think. Um, she's in white. It's the same design as, you know... Um, Lenny, except it's just, you know, white this time. She's got a little ray blaster with a cool green, like, piece. And a classic space logo, which is not, um, it's not scratched up, which is nice. Uh, these ones are all, like, not scratched up, but Benny's is, because he's been around for a while. Uh, that's it for Jenny, and Kenny is the last one. He's got a metal detector. He's in yellow. <laughs> he does look a little naked. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, he's all yellow. But really simple, but it's really awesome to get these, you know, older pieces, especially these air tanks. I think they're slightly new. Um, these helmets are newer. They're thicker um, with the straps on the helmets, so they're not going to break easily. And there's some holes on the sides to attach a visor. But that's the minifigs. They're very simple, but very awesome. And I just wish that we would get at least one more set with, like, astronauts like these types of characters but this is great to get it's just great to get this set just for these figures so amazing but let's move them aside for now 
so we can take a look at the builds, which there is three of them. I'll bring them over here so you can see them. There's three builds. There's a spaceship. We've got a little rover go-kart thing. It's like a little like um, buggy. And here's a robot, which is just there. Uh, the robot's pretty cool. I really like this. I'm just a fan of robots in general, so this is all. This is really nice. It does have these like, what are these pieces? Like these old like hammer pieces, whatever they're called. There's like these arm things. Um, that's a thing. He does have an antenna which can move and a yellow, you know, cheese slope. He's on a little, um, what is it called? A little dish. And he's actually built from a camera piece. So if you can see that, that's what that is. It's a camera kind of part. It's very cool. Uh, there's not much to this robot. I mean, it's just kind of like there. It's like a simple little thing, but it works really well, especially since the old um, sets had like simple little stuff like this. So that's great. As it falls over and dies. Um, we do have the buggy, which is my favorite um, build of the set. It's very simple, like it's very simple. It's got four wheels, a two seats, a steering wheel, and some clips. And it's in light gray with a bit of dark gray. And if you wanted to, you can take um, Jenny and Kenny and put them, well, if it'll let me, you can put them on the rover. That's a little cramped, um, but they can, you know, drive uh, together on the moon. Um, you can put them both on there. And there is clips so you can put accessories on the back. Um, I really like these pieces here, specifically this piece. Um, I don't know what it's called exactly, like a 2 by 4 A flat tall. It's a new piece, a uh, newer part, and it's used for a chair, which is cool. It's a really useful part as well. And the last build is a spaceship, which I love spaceships as well, so that's a awesome thing. The best piece of this is definitely this, this slope, this long blue slope piece with a printed classic space logo, which is great to get. I actually have two of these because I have two of the set because it's that awesome. Um, there are some newer parts like this, especially. I, th I think this might be a newer piece, this chair piece. Um, it looks older. I don't know exactly if that's new or old, but it's a thing. <laughs> Um, there's a blue steering wheel, there's some lights, and an antenna, and an engine, which uses a Star Wars astromech droid piece, which that's interesting. And it's pretty flat on the bottom, but that's fine. And what's really cool is if you get Benny and put him on here and sit him on there, he is right at home. And it's pretty sweet little build. It's not very big, but it's very recognizable and very welcome. Uh, but that's really it. There's not, you know, there's not a bunch, there's not a ton of builds because it's only 10 bucks. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be the biggest set in the world, but I would definitely recommend this. Like of all the Lego Movie 2 sets, this is probably the one that you should buy, especially if you want to support like this type of set. Um, hopefully Lego sees that a lot of people bought this, so, um they can make more of this type of set, like this cheap, you know, set like this. Um, unfortunately, the Space Squad was not seen in the Lego Movie 2 for that long. It was only in a tiny scene, like a 10 second little montage with Benny and Queen whatever when she was singing the Not Evil song. It's even in the soundtrack, you, you see, um, you know, it's the whole thing with Benny. And you see the Space Squad in like a in like 10 seconds and then they just you know they're never seen again which is kind of unfortunate but despite their you know small role this set is just amazing it's phenomenal it's it's just perfect it's like a little gift for people who like lego classic space which of course i didn't grow up during the 80s or 90s so i i don't have that nostalgia really but i just wanted to support the you know the fans and the people who bought the set, because it's just a great value. 
I'm just a fan of like space overall. So it was just a win-win for me. And being a Lego Movie 2 set certainly helps, although, you know, you don't see these guys very much in the movie, but it's still nice to get them. And hopefully they can do more little sets like this, uh, you know, maybe once in a while. It'd be kind of nice. Bring classic space back. Uh, this was kind of a comeback for the theme. Kind of. It's almost like one. Um, but yeah, of all the Lego Movie 2 sets, this is one I would recommend the most. Definitely. It's cheap. Well, it used to be cheap. It was like 10 bucks, but obviously 2019 is gone, so... Yeah, this set is a little pricey now because it's not on the shelves anymore. Um, but if you can somehow get it, you know, n without, you know, ruining your wallet, then definitely do so. Especially if you're a, a you know, a classic space fan, if you're, if you want the pink astronaut, which is awesome. If you just want Benny, or if you just, you know, just a fan of the theme overall, then this is just phenomenal. I would give it a 10 out of 10. It just deserves it. It's just that good um so yeah um it's just that's really all i have to say about this it's just fantastic if you if you have the set or if you want it let me know in the comments below what do you think about it do you think it's overrated let me know and um man i, I can't say enough good things about this but i will see you in the next um set review which will be soon and i'm hoping to get all these lego movie 2 sets reviewed at some point because <laughs> i just haven't done that but I hope you like this one regardless. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you in the next one. Leave me your thoughts down below, and I will see you next time. Take care. Have an awesome day.